Alrighty, so here we are on lesson one, chance experience, or experiments. So it says at the top, have you ever heard the weatherman say that there's a 40% chance of rain tomorrow, or your referee tell the team there's a 50-50 chance of getting a heads on the coin toss? So these are probability statements, and in this lesson we're going to investigate probability and how likely it is that some events will occur. So example one is the spinner game. So you have this spinner shown here. And you have to decide who will go first. Um, each person picks a color, and then each person takes a turn. So obviously we're not going to do it because we're doing it in the notes, but we're going to answer these questions. So if we look at number one, it says, which color has the best chance to record ten times? Well, if you're looking here, green takes up the most space. So that means green would have the best chance to get picked ten times. Number two says, do you think it makes a different who goes first to pick a color? I would say yes because the first person would want green. Okay, and then number three says, which color would, would you pick to give you the best odds or best chance of winning the game? Why would you pick the color? Well, I would pick green because it takes up 50% of the spinner. Okay, so if we look at the next example, it says below there are three different spinners. On um, which spinner is green likely to win, unlikely to win, and equally likely to win? So if we look at spinner A, you can see they're half and half, so this means this one is equally likely. Spinner B, green takes up most of it, so this one would just be likely. Now here on spinner C, red takes up most of it, so that means this one would be unlikely. Okay, so if you go ahead and flip the page, there's a big table here about what probability is, which is really, it's the measure how, of how likely it is that an event will happen. So in these descriptions, there's just some key words that I want you to underline or highlight. So it says some events are impossible. These events have a probability of zero, so impossible. And then oh, probability of zero. Oh, this is not going to work well, I guess. I'll try to stick with highlight or underlining. Some events are certain. These events have a probability of one. Some events are classified as equally likely to happen or not happen. So these events have a probability of one half. Some events are more likely to happen than not happen. So their probability is greater than 0.5. These events could be described as likely to occur. And some events are less likely to happen than, to, than not to happen. And these events have a probability that is less than 0.5. And these would be described as unlikely to occur. So kind of like what we did on the other page. So if you look at the figure below, it shows a probability scale. And we've got these events. And we need to figure out where they would go on the scale above. So, A, you will see a live dinosaur on the way home from school today. Impossible. Okay, I know some of you might hope you might see a dinosaur, but it is impossible. B, a solid rock dropped in the water will sink. Well, we know that rocks sink in water. They're heavy. So that's certain. C, a round disc with one side red and the other side yellow will land on the yellow side when flipped. All right, this is equally likely because it's a half and half chance. Half red, half yellow. A spinner with four equal parts numbered one to four will land on the four on the next spin. And that's kind of unlikely because it's only a one out of four chance. So that's only 25%. Your full name will be drawn when a full name is selected randomly from a bag containing the full names of all the students in your class. I think that's even more unlikely, right, because your class is even bigger. F, a red cube will be drawn when a cube is selected from a bag that has five blue and five red. So again, that's equally likely. That's half and half chance. And tomorrow the temperature outside will be negative 250 degrees. Well, I hope not. So we're hoping that's impossible, but I'm pretty sure it would be anyways. Okay. So numbers six through eight here ask you to design some spinners. So design a spinner so the probability of spinning a green is one. So that means that the entire spinner would have to be green.
design a spinner so that the probability of spinning green is zero. So that means the entire spinner needs to be a different color. I'll pick red. And then design a spinner with two outcomes in which each is equally likely to land on the red and green part. So equally likely mean, means we're going to split it down the middle. So part of it will be green and the other part will be red. All right. So if you flip the page here, an event that is impossible has a probability of zero and will never occur no matter how many observations you make. This means in a long sequence of observations it will occur 0% of the time. An event that is certain has a probability of 1 and will always occur. This means that in a long sequence of observations it will occur 100% of the time. So what do you think it means for an event to have a probability of 1 half? That means it will occur 50% of the time. And the next one asks, what do you think it means for an event to have a probability of one-fourth? That means it will occur 25% of the time. All right. So we are going to combine this with a little bit of lesson two, but we're not going to use the notes for this um, lesson. So at the bottom of this page, we're just going to start with lesson two. So you're going to have to fill this in, and this is just probability. Okay, so for these just few examples we're going to do, we're going to talk about rolling a die. And you know a die has six sides on it, it's got six numbers. The numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So we have a total of six numbers. So the first probability we're going to talk about, and when you talk about probability, you can write it as P, and then in parentheses, the probability of rolling a 1 or a 2. So that's how you write probability of rolling 1 or 2. So rolling a 1, well that's 1, and then rolling a 2, that means there's two chances out of a total 6, so 2 over 6, and if you simplify that, you get 1 over 3, so this is the fraction form, and I want you to write it as a percent. So if you divide it, 1 divided by 3, it would be 33 and a third percent chance. So now if we talk about the probability of rolling an even number, so we have three even numbers out of the six. If we simplify, we get one half, which is the same thing as 50%. We're going to do one more, the probability of rolling a 4 or less. So that means we're including the 4. So that means there's 4 different numbers we could roll then out of the possible 6. So if we simplify, it would be 2 thirds, which is also equal to 66 and 2 thirds percent. Okay, so that's just a bit of a little look into what we're going to do in lesson 2. So that's all we're going to do for the video, and then we'll do some more practice in class tomorrow.